Medspace CA is the world's first simulation of in-theatre imaging and it places the user in a sterile operating theatre alongside mobile CARM equipment. The clinical room itself is a challenging learning environment for students with the time pressures and low tolerance for error. Medspace CARM aims to provide realistic process simulation to better prepare the students for the challenges of these procedures. Unlike other Medspace VR modules, users have no control over the initial environment or the patient position, which mimics clinical practice. The user will start by selecting a protocol and this will immediately place them into the operating theater with the patient positioned as per surgical procedure requirements. Users are tasked with placing the C-arm and the monitors in the most appropriate positions and setting up for the required image. As with other Medspace VR modules, the equipment controls are accessed by clicking on the relevant equipment control, the drop down menus, or using the hotkey. In the operating theatre, you can click on the menus and then you are able to manipulate the equipment. It helps to change the camera view to look from the top for the original starting position of the equipment. We're doing a hip pinning here, which is one of the most challenging procedures that a student radiographer will have to do in the theatre situation. Monitors can be placed in the same way as the base of the C-arm and then you can move back to the radiographer view in order to manipulate the C-arm. As with surgical procedures, the radiographer needs to think ahead and position the C-arm appropriately with either the tube or the detector at the top. This clearly needs to be done outside the sterile field and before the surgeon is ready for you to image. The C-arm can be manipulated by using the locks on the actual arm itself. Or on the base, there's height adjustments and the, the base movements. You can move the entire base forward. And as you can see, the actual handles on the base are in the direction of the movement. Otherwise you can click those handles sideways and then you will be enable left and right movement. As a radiographer we need to be careful that we do not, that the C-arm or the equipment does not hit the table, the patient, the sterile field or the surgeon. So we may have to change our positioning and see what it is that's stopping the machine from moving. As you can see here, the base of the machine touched the base of the table, thus not enabling the base to go further in. We can manipulate the exposure factors. We do not have an inbuilt AEC for this equipment. And take an image. We're able to flip the image, rotate the image on the monitor, we can change the zoom or the magnification factors. So by clicking on these locks, we enable different movements to occur. We have the rotation, the slide, the z-axis rotation, and forward and back. We also have the ability to go from pulse to screening. So when screening is selected, when the exposure button 
has been pressed, you can then have the screen, the, the live screening on the monitor. So any movement of the C-arm will result in a direct image change. Thank mm -hmm. you.